Hello there everyone, my name is Oversold, this is Oversold Gaming, and welcome back to Hellblade. Now, we defeated the crow guy, the raven man, or whatever, and we have gone through the next door into the world of fire, and we're about to find... Oh yeah, that's right, the hanging corpses. Right, we're about to find that we might get our asses burned. We come as no surprise, you see, for the guy is made of fire! <laughs> Anyways... Screen's getting all gray, we're gonna have to fight again. I always know now, I can always tell when a fight's coming. I'm not sure if I prefer combat or puzzles, to be honest with you. I think I prefer combat when it's not shield people. Oh shit, wrong button. Okay, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Get up! Get up! Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, I thought I was gonna die again for a second. God, I hate the people with the shield. Let me take care of this asshole first. So shield guy is as, as much as a problem. Behind you. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what is the secret to dealing with the shield people. Uh, evade. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> You notice how big of a problem the shield guy is? I've, I've taken down... So far in this fight, I've taken down two people, and neither of them have been him. And I try... Man, god damn. Oh, you like that? You like that move right there? That was some slow motion matrix type shit right there. Now that was cool. Okay. Oh god, another one? Really? Do you guys realize how long it took me to take down the first one? Fuck. Surprise! Yeah! Come on, motherfucker. There. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Once again, I had to cut out most of the combat because I'm already 10 minutes into my recording and literally 90% of it has been fighting so far. So anyways, god, fuck the shield people. Seriously, three ways to Sundays with a goddamn rusty soldering iron. When you see a fire gate of Surt, know that only a sacrifice will stoke the fires of Muspa and let the dead walk through. Uh-huh. And would that second Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. Oh my god. So, now I have to... Go... What do I have to do? I'm confused. I just came in here and killed a bunch of things. And now they want me to... Oh, no, it's a different thing. Okay. I thought I came down a different way. Alright, that's what I thought. That's the path to return. This is the new way to go. I'm focusing on it. I don't really see anything of interest, though. Am I supposed to focus at it from a certain angle, perhaps? Hi there. I see ya. How's it going? Ah, there we go. I was beginning to wonder. Oh, shit. I see. I hear sounds. And I see people burning alive around me. Jesus. 
Hell will not give you the answers you want. But you mustn't look away from the horrors it does offer. Because you cannot overcome suffering if you refuse to look at it. You know, there are some things that they uh, apparently mention in the um, behind the scenes. Search is through there. He's waiting for her. You can't get through. How will she get through? Uh, she needs to find another way. You know, most people would just be able to knock this down with their sword very easily. But nah, Senua only saves her weapon for combat. There's always a way. Find your own way. Everything else involves puzzles. Focusing on stuff. Anyways, though, they're not very clear about it in the game itself, but some of her voices that talk to her are actually people that she knows. Like, one of them is her mother. One of them is uh, the one that sounds like Liam Neeson that, ta that tells us these stories when we look at these lore stones, is what they're called, by the way. Which makes sense, right? Uh, he's... Uh, like an old, um, an old, like, uh, Norse hero or something, I think they said. I don't know. But I do know that when you beat the game on the main menu, well, even before you beat the game, but it's recommended not to watch it until you beat it. But on the main menu, there is, uh, something called a Hellblade featurette, which, uh, is like a behind the scenes making of Hellblade where they go into more depth about the characters and stuff, but it does contain spoilers. Um, so I would advise after we finish this that you try to see if you can find it on YouTube or something. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because I don't know if I can record it because and upload it. it. I don't know if that's allowed. It was bright and hot, for that flaming, burning. Kind of thing, you know? Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first Niflheim. giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds and is now the land of the fire giants and people from elsewhere oh that's right cannot endure a journey there i forgot you can't get too far away from those things or else his voice starts getting quiet you have to kind of sit there and listen to most of it all right here's another one. Oh, come on another gate she needs to find it another fire sacrifice another fire sacrifice, another fire sacrifice. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. Yeah, yeah, I know how it works. I also see that the everything's starting to get dark again. It's too far. She'll never find it. She'll never make her way back. She needs to remember the way back. What happens when she finds it? Everything will burn. Concentrate, concentrate on where you're going. She needs to remember the path. Everything will burn, then how will she find the way back? <laughs> she won't. She won't be able to tell. They're telling me that... Oh shit, here we go. We're gonna fight. No? Not yet? Okay. Alright. I thought we were getting there, but maybe not. The Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. We're gonna be fighting a fire giant. His name giant. means the Black One. Oh. Because he is like something burnt. Oh, this is the not The Northmen gonna be believe easy. that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword. And at the end of the world, he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. I need to be able to get up there, I think. But I cannot. I, oh, here we go. An open passage. Now, they told me I need to memorize the way back because everything will burn. I'm going to assume that means that after I accomplish this, some of my paths will be blocked the from Northmen me. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. God, that sucks. We basically have to relive all the hell that these poor people that got burned alive went through in order to continue on our journey. Alright, now that we've effectively lit everything on fire, it's time to fight our way back. I had a feeling we'd be able to jump down here, that's why that was there. It wasn't for going up, it was for going down. 
isn't the path we took back. I'm just following the only clear route. Most of the horror in this game is in the audio. Oh shit. Because this is like really unnerving right here. This is the screaming souls of the damned. Do your Ooh, gods shit. answer your prayers, Senua? I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! What good did My it- My gods abandoned me! I am alone. What good did it do you, though, Druin? Because now you're just a voice in my head. Did this allow me for to open the gate? Find the fire, Senua. Ugh. To follow the path to Surt. I already did that. Now I gotta do a different one? Oh, wait. I'm stupid and blind. This whole area is different. Oh, God. Now we have two different things? Uh, we have two gates in here. One of them requires fire to get past, and the other... Symbols! Hidden symbols. Is there something perhaps of interest in this cottage? Maybe it's my childhood home where I grew up and all of my memories become flowing back. No, no, no. This is all just... See, I feel like... Because you know we're trying to get into Helheim, right? We're not actually there yet. No, 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 no. We're still at the gates of Helheim. It's just that the darkness, we're th being this close to the underworld, the darkness is able to fuck with us like it is. Um, but I do believe that this area is perhaps one of the villages that the fire giants, that the fire giant destroyed, murdering so many innocents in the process. I have a feeling that one of my symbols is going to be up here, but I also kind of feel like I don't actually need to be here yet. I'm being very... Uh, what's the word? Preemptive. I should be... Let's see. I don't know which I actually need to do first. The fire or the symbols. We're gonna go with the symbols. Because I don't see any fire statue around here, so... Let's just... Yeah. Alright, now let's see if we can't find Northman something that looks Hell like the things. Worship the devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Cinema. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. Why do I kind of feel like the R should be... Like, I should be about in the right spot for it, right? Ah, damn it. Close, but not quite. I'm still a little off with something somewhere. Damn it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's in fire. It's on the ground. It's not... Wow, they had me, uh... They had me confused. Okay, so I know where I saw the other one. Because all the symbols are right here. Where, where did he, where'd they go? Yeah, 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 right here.
Uh, this one was hidden in the environment. This one was the trees right here. Which I kind of figured when I saw that that one was an X. Okay. Very clever game. You know what's funny, though? The developers, they did their research because those symbols hidden in the environment that they're having us find are actually, like, uh, Norse... Like, actual Norse symbols. Oh, okay, and this was hidden behind that, which will take me through the other door. Come on, thank you. I kind of figured... Kind of figured that was the case. I just wasn't expecting this to be right behind the door. I thought it would be... <laughs> Oh, great, now we're on fire. Good job. Okay. Oh. Oh, God, those screams of pain are so unpleasant to listen to. That's what this was for. Oh, come on, Senua, do not. Come on. You know you do act you do actually have to balance her on these? Whoa. If she falls, she dies. That much I do know. Okay. Is there going to be a fight right here? Yep, I knew it. It's getting a little predictable. I like this game, but it's very repetitive. It's pretty much the same shit in every area. Puzzle, puzzle, fight. Puzzle, puzzle, fight. Boss. Oh, shit, really? Oh, yeah, we're gonna be like that now. I will say, though, fighting with all this fire going on around is actually pretty cool. You are. Feel that blood. Oh, what? Oh shit, where'd you come from? Ha! Got you in the middle of your attack, bitch. Now, fuck off. Would you kindly? A little bit of a Bioshock reference there. in preparation for my Bioshock replay that I will eventually be doing, which I've already recorded some episodes for, by the way. Yeah, so my next replay will be the Bioshock franchise. Surprise, for those who didn't know. It's a really great franchise. You'll love it if you've never seen it. Or if you have seen at least one of the games. Good. Let it collapse. And have the courage to shed your tears. Raise your word to the crime! My world is dead. Only then, as with a newborn, Will you see the world and you? No, I see nothing now. Yeah, his dialogue got cut cut off there at the end. It was like only then, as a newborn, will you see the world and you. <laughs> Anyways, for those of you who have never seen the Bioshock games, you're in for one hell of a treat. They are so good. Or for those of you who have just only ever seen one of them, but not all of them. Either way. Either way, you're in for special ride. But I don't know when I'll be getting that, to that exactly. All I know is that I am in pre-preparation. I do have a couple episodes of the first game already recorded, ready to put out at any moment. It's just a matter of finding the time. Where am I going? Another gate. The fire kind of forced us into a completely new area. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Shows what I get for not paying attention, right? Okay. Three symbols this time. Tell me truth. How did you escape your darkness? Ah, oh, look, 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 look. My purpose. A fire door. I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear. I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Sirt. 
And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. The fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. That does kind of suck, though. I mean, you told someone to run, and they ran. Oh, did they run? But did they fucking... How do you run straight into a fire? Anyways. Some major level panic right there. Um, there should be a symbol here somewhere. I know I'm in close vicinity for it. I think I found it. Look. Huh? Huh? Hey, there we go. Damn. Optical illusion much? Alright, two more. There's two more in this area. Let's find them. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like these the answers hidden in the environment puzzles. This one's really easy. It's a peak. Look, it's right there. Right there. Oh my god, I'm looking right at it. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> but it's clever, and there are some other video games I've seen do this before. I can't remember what they were, though, but, like, you know, where you, like, you know, adjust your position to make something look like something because of the... Op you know, it. Anyways, it's like an optical illusion. It's pretty cool. There's another one in here. This one shouldn't be too hard. There's lots of. Oh. Literally right here. Except from the other way around, huh? Oh, maybe I should be on the other side for this one. It's that hole in the wall which is conveniently shaped exactly like what I need it to be. That's probably, that was, that one was easy. Not the whole thing right here, but that, actually considering some of these that I've done, this is probably one of the easier ones altogether, yeah. All right, through the door, and surely this will lead us to yet another statue of Flaming burnage. If I can survive the fire of Cirque and escape my darkness, then so can you. I will try. I will definitely try. Oh shit! Oh, I don't know why that always gets me. Run! Run! Through the fire! Keep running! Go on! Nothing will stop! Run! Run! That's run. my plan! Oh fuck. The whole place is coming down. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. I'm on fire. Was that supposed to happen? Because I don't know if that was. Was that. She's dying. Oh my god, stop, drop, and roll, bitch. What's wrong with you? Pretty sure this game keeps killing me on purpose to make me think I actually died because the whole permadeath sorry. thing in the beginning. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone. 
away from here. Who is she talking to when she looks directly at us know. like that? For how long? I don't know. I think she's talking to Dillion, but it also feels like she's talking to the audience at the same time. I believe in you. You know that. Just... Just promise me. Hey, you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Come on. There is a bit of a secret to the whole permadeath thing, and the reason why they keep killing you the way that they do, but I don't want to I don't want to spoil it. You destroyed everything, everyone, but not me, right now. Oh, maybe what she was seeing was actually her village being burned by this guy. All right, so we're doing it. We're fighting the fire giant now. This is it. This is the boss battle. It took a lot less time to get to him than it did the pro guy. Oh. Oh, okay. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Okay. I thought I was supposed to avoid that, but I'm not. I'm supposed to... This guy seems more like an evade than a dodge, you know what I mean? When it comes to the fighting. That was close. Come on, let's go, big fella. So far, this guy is actually easier than the Raven Man. I really should have went this way first. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Thank you, game, by the way, for not telling me and allowing me to go after the stronger boss first. Oh yeah, if you hit the sprint button in battle, you can charge your enemies. I, I figured that out. There we go. So when he puts up his flame shield, you use focus to get rid of it. Nice. This fight is like miles easier than the Raven guy. Okay. Oh shit! I got hit! I got hit! I got hit! I got hit! Get up! 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 Thank you. Stay away from me. Oh, that's right, that's right, I can't hit him when he's on fire, because then I take damage. Bullshit! Alright, so, another long battle that's gonna take a while to get through. I guess I'll return to you guys when I've made enough progress. It looks like he's not summoning minions, so that's good. Cool. This fight probably won't take as long as the other ones, but still, it's gonna take a while. Shit. Okay, I think I got him. Yep. Yeah, that was way easier than the Raven Man. I clearly did this shit in the wrong order. It's not like they told me, though, you know? But whatever. I don't think it matters. Really. The gates to Helheim should be open now. That I've officially defeated both the Guardians. For every battle won, a greater battle takes its place. And so it goes.
shall we fall? We all fall down. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. I have fulfilled my quest. This must be memories of when she met him in real life. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Yeah. Be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers your quest your truth you could have finished the sentence I don't know why sometimes the audio doesn't fit okay extinguished haha that's a nice trophy for beating a fire boss anyways I think I'm gonna stop here it saved the boss is dead and now we're going to have to run back through this area and get back to the gates of Helheim, in which there'll probably be a fight against some regular minions, and then we can finally go through the gates and then face the real horror that awaits us in hell. So that ought to be cool. Uh, and now we've just been on the outskirts of hell, where darkness meagerly fucks with us and, f and flirts. But once we get into the dead zone, as it were, where evil truly reigns, things might get a little more horrifying things might get a little darker a little more disturbing i can't wait can't wait to see what's coming up next but uh, that'll be the next episode you see as i'm done with this one also before i wanted before i let you go i wanted to uh give you a theory that i had it came across as i was thinking okay so my thought is thus uh based off some of the things that she's been seeing and stuff as we went through here i feel like a lot of what she's seeing here uh the hallucinations from her psychosis is actually like some of it might be memories of people and places and stuff i think that because she's a celtic warrior and just because of where she grew up with i think that she has seen a lot of shit i think that her land might have been attacked by vikings or something um and they just brutally destroyed the village and everything just burnt it all to the ground killed everyone she ever cared about you know, her life has been absolute hell. And as a result, she has developed a, f a form of psychosis. And as a bit of a comfort within that, the voices that she hears are the voices of former dead loved ones, family members, friends, and such, such as her mother and this druid guy that you just saw dying in her arms, which I think is something that really happened in real life when they really knew each other. I think she was a, he was a friend of hers, and she had to watch him die, and now his voice sticks with her as part of the whole psychosis thing. So I'd be surprised if it turns out Dillian's not even really alive at the end, because it did say something about going to save the soul of her lover. And I, I do think that after he died, she just couldn't accept it. So she's literally going to hell to bring his soul back to reality, is what I think is happening. So that's interesting. That's crazy. And what I was saying before about the permadeath thing, I don't want to spoil anything, but I, I, I know the truth behind that, and I understand why they are doing this whole fake-out death thing because they want to scare you. They want the player to be f fucking freaked out and unnerved because they want you to think that you could die and lose your save file at any moment. And so when they do shit like that by hitting you with the fire and making her, like, fucking roast to death and shit, you can kind of tell in the back of your mind that it's a cutscene, but because of what they told you at the beginning, there's always going to be that, oh god, no, I hope, I hope this isn't the one, you know, going on. So that's why they're doing it. And I actually think it's very, very clever, personally. It's my, you know, I know a lot of people aren't really big fans of it, and I understand why, but I, th you know, I thought, I think it's very unique and a different mechanic. Um, but when we get to the, I know, like I said, I know the truth about the whole permadeath thing, and I'll explain it to you guys when we get to the end so I don't spoil anything. But for now, let's just, it's good to keep us all on our toes, right? So anyways, that'll be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely.
later another time. Like another video. Okay, goodbye.